do that. on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Oh my god. Teenagers. Oh, and then also, so people know, we're going to be doing Jackbox after I play this. We'll probably start uh, Jackbox around yeah. 7. Is there a person there? Oh. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Oh, I can't control them. Oh. There's like something glowing on the table. Can I get to it? Tutorial. Press and hold R2 to pick up the note. All right. Hold R2 and use the right stick to inspect objects. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. That is girl's handwriting. If she doesn't realize oh my that. God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Hold on. Give me one second. Um. Left stick. Wow, for PS4 game, the graphics are really good on this, too. What about the cam- the camera's really bothering me. Oh, okay, there we go. Ooh, can I smack him with it? Jeremiah Cragg. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Um. Ooh, there's a lot of honey. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh. Hey. Oh, you guys are jerks. You know that, Hannah. Hannah, banana, fo, banana, 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 mo, mana. Oh. Wait. Josh. Josh! Fuck! Guys! There's someone outside! What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han! Just a prank! What did you do? We are just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Quick, 
quick time events. It's a doggy. I mean, it's a deer thing. Jesus, fuck, shit. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? Hmm. I love how uh, camouflaged she is with her, oh. Oh, I'm swiping it. Where's Grinder? Hannah. Nope. Oh. Bested by a tree. thing on the ground. <gasps> uh, death totem. Okay. Oh my god. What? Mr. Man. Oh my god. Black death. Possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each shown piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies will come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Butterfly effect. Any of your business? Oh my gosh. Yikes! Huh? She's gonna die. Hannah! I do not like this, uh... Have you seen this before, Psychedel 4? Or have you played it? And welcome! Uh, why is there a random fire? What the hell was that? Yeah. You have, Jonesy. Oh my god. Anna! Anna! Hello? She's gonna freeze her titties off. Anna! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. It's a killer deer. Oh, oh no! Oh my god. Power grip. Hold on! Hold on!
Ugh. The anal rapist. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you, you will always find a way He's to like work. He's like a man. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order it's to It's uh, Peter Stormar. Um, he was in Fargo. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, R2? Oh. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? It's a fucking creepy ass, uh... Scarecrow? Yeah, Scarecrow. Well, I see. I see. Let's see, the scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. What? Mm, sure. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Hmm. So, the scarecrow frightens you, and yet you don't appear to be bothered by the possibility of the supernatural. <laughs> I suspect that someone is not being entirely honest with me. Our time's up. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? Hmm. <laughs> um oh now we have the credits okay so i'm just texting my mom I know this song.
Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago, They're tonight, still missing? the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be Oh, of course. Them? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. But not edit it out. Oh. All right. Oh, it's that dude. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and you know okay so let's party like we're fucking porn stars okay and make this one trip we will never forget all right yes Jason Graves, Arabic Queen. <laughs> Wolf, welcome. Ooh, friendship. <laughs> Adventurous, diligent. Aww. Hello? Ye Is someone there? Hi, Gigamat. You know, just a uh, creepily breathy man. Oh my god. Sorry, I was like, Is there jump scares and. Hey, I'm just Cody. Welcome. The gate's busted. Climb over, Chris. Oh, great. Wow, oh, what? <sighs> Damn it. Climb, you climb, climb. Oh, Jesus, never mind.
Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Fucking quick time events. Flashlight on like the oh. Here's my phone. <gasps> Aww. Hey little fella. You hungry? Huh? What? Oh, damn it. I didn't move it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come Fuck. on. I'm just gonna set it down. Where'd the squirrel go? Yeah, the vibration. Yeah, I was like, uh oh. <laughs> but it worked. That time. Oh, and give, um, give me one second. I will be right back. Sorry. Just want to grab something. Okay, sorry about that. I am back. Oh wait, no I'm not. Yes I am. No I'm not. Yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, bye Jonesy. Are you leaving? <laughs> cool. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. Oh, the color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. What about blue? The best color. Oh, as you uh, explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking up a totem, picking a totem up and turning it will reveal a color butterfly and premonition of the future. Okay. Oh, how did I see the totem? Oh, okay. And driven man. Ah, okay. Walking, walking, walking. Wow, graffiti. 
graffiti all the way up here? The past is beyond our control. Chris has a crush on Ashley, methodical, protective, humorous. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Did I see everything there was to see? Oh, it's... Is that a poster? Man, it is... Yeah, they're dry it's as fuck. Weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Oh, there's a poster. Oh man, look at this. Mulgram Victor, sex yeah, male, height six two. You think we'll get a visit Blackwood Pines. One in connection with first degree arson offense as well as various oh, death on. threats. Anyone with information here. regarding this dangerous criminal should contact BPMC as soon as possible. July 1998? What year is this? Damn. Mystery man. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. Oh. All right. Here goes. Oh, do I actually have to aim? Press R2 to shoot. I am. Oh. Is that the squirrel? Oh, no. Thank God. Wow, nice shooting ticks. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I'm just getting the hang of this. What was that Come butterfly on, thing? Cable car. Butterfly effect update. It must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he 
keeps it all together. I, I mean, I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Wait, didn't I ever see this? So Why is it blinking it again? Like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know? Yeah. That's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. What a crazy place to set up house. Blackwood no Pines Hotel and Sanatorium. Oh, you know, together. For a healthy body and mind. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. Is there so that dude gonna appear? It feels menacing, like sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The sleeping giant is the black one for it. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but. So Chris, ha it said he has a crush on Ashley, but Ashley isn't. That's Sam, right? Going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. I love it. Secluded uh, mountain that Everyone needs to be accessed by a cable car. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry. The girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. <coughs> what the or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, Ice Wolf. Get it. Yes. Where did Psychedelphal go? Oh, you're all playing Maple Story. Gotcha. You're Reverend. Oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Hey. Jessica, over here! <laughs> uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? 
pretty please? Oh, R2. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. Mm, it's meat. all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. <laughs> Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all. What that. what is the essay on fish? Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just going to wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex, resourceful, persuasive, intelligent. She seems like a major bitch. Pretty. Emily's new boyfriend, ambitious, active, motivated. You know. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is there anything back here? I'm always afraid I'm gonna miss some like collectible or something. Nope. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. Gonna be weird. Wait, wait. Was that a? Was that a totem? Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. No, I don't think so. I'm just, well. Wait. Nope, I'm dumb. Okay. Can they walk any faster? Love a game that categorizes people based on their significant others. Mike's ex. New boyfriend. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive. <laughs> you got White. <it>. Michael! <laughs> you really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? <laughs> no need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? <gasps> oh, my yes. God, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no, seriously. I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Status update. What is the status update? Butterfly effect. Crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Mm. 
All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. Since anyone always plays as horror games? Excuse me? Well, then we're even. Well, least. it's October. I'll Makes think sense. About it. But who, wait, who? What? I'm confused. You up there, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> I normally don't play horror games. I, well, this one and Alien Isolation are the only ones I've ever played. Is Soma considered horror? Maybe. I don't know. Ashley has a crush on, crush on Chris. Inquisitive, forthright, academic. Oh. Whoa, hello. Somebody's <clears throat> getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Ooh. Oh! oh God. <laughs> hey, whoa. <sighs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Just Louise, well, what? Well, I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. It's what are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. No, uh, um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh. oh. Son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. The nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Matt. Awkward. Well, don't leave. Can't you write the essay and watch at the same time, or? Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where we I can, can help with your essay. For who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> hey, you know that? She gonna get murdered. Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Oh, ah! Hey! Oh, oh snap! <laughs> Hello? Come on. <laughs> Hey, Mike! Boom. Ooh, she's a good <laughs> shot. Oh, you got me. Giggle, okay. <laughs> giggle, giggle! Something's. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing me, to do. I know all your tricks. Is this Macy Gray? So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My Fuck my. in the snow. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Wow, 
Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <laughs> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. Oh. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. It's the murderer. You're gonna kill everybody. Oh, the fucking doctor. Hello again. He's gonna psychoanalyze me. And how are we feeling? Huh? Therapize me. I believe that in our last session, you were not completely honest with me. Mm. I'm an expert. With years of experience, you don't <laughs> think you can mislead me. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. X. Um. What is this for, anyway? Wait. Didn't I say steaks scare me already? He just does not care whatsoever. Ah! Yeah, we're gonna go with the clowns. Wait. Gore disgusts me. Crows are fucking terrifying. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Mm. Oh, okay, fish. I was going to play League after this, though, so... No, I'm just kidding. Mmm. <laughs> Sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> the fuck, dude? <laughs> Spiders uh, never scare me. I don't know. Well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Spiders are your friends. They're going to eat all the annoying bugs. <laughs> <laughs> 